everyone, and welcome back to another round of Mom Q&A with Mamas Uncut, where we talk about parenting, motherhood, relationships, and so much more based off of your anonymous questions. Again, we got Lisa and Mindy. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello, everyone. Let's get started, shall we? I need some advice. My boyfriend cheated on me, and I've known him for years, but we have not been together for that long, only six months, and he's never done anything like this before. He has the same story, drunk, stopped halfway through apparently, and I've never seen him in such a state of regret. I feel like my entire world has stopped and I don't know if I can get past it. Can you forgive and trust someone who has cheated? I think that she needs to ask that question to herself more than anybody. Yeah, I I mean, it's, um, they're dating, it's new. Maybe he could be freaked out by that and you don't really know unless you ask him. I. I'm a ten, I'm a little bit more lenient to people that have things like this when they're dating rather than they're married. And it just depends on whether or not you want to go forward with this. That's the other great thing about it is you are dating and you aren't married. So you don't have that, um, that complication of everything. So I think she just needs to decide if it's something she can move on from. Some people could say, yeah, I think I could move on for that as long as he is 100% in on that and he really does want to be with her and is committed to that. But if she doesn't feel like she can move on from it, it is not a good idea because hanging on to resentments going further into relationships always make for big problems. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree. Letting go of the resentment's hard though. Mm -hmm. you know, and like, you know, moving, moving past it is, um, it's, it's not an easy process. It's a lot of work. And like, you know, if you are going to be anxious and, and, you know, wanting to see his phone and, and get all spun up in your own head about it, then it's not worth it. But if you can, if, if you can let it go and kind of, be relaxed about it and, you know, recognize, hey, one time you do this, shame on you. Next time, shame on me, because that's kind of how you've got to approach it. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, I say, keep going. Yeah. Um, I think, can you forgive the person is the wrong question. I think it's, can you forget? because I think you can forgive and I think you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't forgive because really in the end you're just kind of hurting yourself by going through it over and over and over in your head it's best if you do just forgive I think what's going to hurt you later on your relationship is if you can't forget it if this something if this is something that you don't think you're going to be able to forget I don't know if there's any point in moving forward because I mean one you're just going to get further into this relationship there's going to be more to lose. Um, and then it's just going to be harder for you to step away. Uh, but you also don't want to be miserable and you want to be happy and you want to find someone that you're going to be happy with and that you can trust because trust is really all there is in a relationship. And if you don't have that, then it's not much of a relationship. Yep. All right. Well, that's all we got for you guys. We'll see you next week.